What's up, guys? It's Kimchi and Tofu. Yeah. yeah! All right, guys, we are going into Tower of God episode number eight, Kun's strategy. Oh, yeah, because Kun uh, made a strategy, and that's why Anak, and then they were all everywhere. Mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. Red Hair Ranker is he's he's simple-minded. Simple yeah, he's very simple-minded. So the counter to simple-minded is you got to beat him with the mind, yeah. the mind game. And this is where Kun's going to come in, yeah. you know, when he ties his hair up. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. But cool. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for joining us. So far, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Oh. How are you guys doing? Hope you're doing all good. Yeah. Come on! <laughs> oh my god, Rock is just sitting up there. <laughs> With his best friend, remember? Oh yeah. This rope, uh, this sword looks so rubbery. Oh no. <laughs> so he's actually admitting like, damn, you almost got me. He looks like he's trying to, yeah, stay calm. He's trying to play it cool. So he's kind of sweating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's asking what comes next. <laughs> he thinks he's being nice. He shouldn't be nice. He's an idiot. Yeah. Whoa. You remember that guy was paired with Rachel and the princess. Yep, it was cool to see his mouth, like yeah. crispy. Ah, oh, Kun's smiling. I love these side characters. They're so interesting. <laughs> he just calls him trash. They only knew about Bam. Sorry, he's not trash. She jealous? I was wondering why they paired up. And we both were. Her face is so cute when it's serious. Oh, Anak? Yeah. Yeah, she gets. Yeah, it's cute when she's angry. <laughs> this guy really counted to 111. <laughs> what are they gonna do? They look so weak. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about her. I like this one, though. She's strong. Mm -hmm. He's just walking. Is he walking up? Yeah. So gangster, huh? I'm kind of nervous for these guys. Oh, Shinsu. Oh, shoot. Oh, he disappeared. So does he... Oh. <laughs> oh my god, he's actually beating him up. Oh, I had a feeling. Not gonna be good. No, don't leave your <laughs> position! <laughs> oh god, just look at yeah, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> oh wow. this guy's pretty huge. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh <laughs> Damn. So he's kind of teaching that guy a lesson. Yeah. He's more toying with them. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Which would you prefer, she pass or to fail oh. and stay alive? Oh. He's sleeping at the starting line. Wait, he's gonna pass no matter what? <laughs> mm. Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> Oh god, it's a, the eating contest? Yeah. Th that guy's just as troll as him. Uh-huh. He loves the chocolates too. Oh my gosh. Run, Anak! Run! Nah, Raph knows. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's got his back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that guy doesn't talk too, huh? Uh -uh. Okay. He's behind you. He's behind uh -oh. you. <laughs> oh, Quant's behind him. <laughs> <laughs> He's massaging him now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how the heck did this little girl pass all these tests? 
<laughs> so that's how he got this lump. I like the way he runs. Yeah. With his hands behind his back. Well, that's... Yeah, that's a far distance. Oh, he's testing him. Oh, she is down here. I thought he was... I thought he was joking. Yeah, I... Same. <laughs> oh. Oh. So she didn't jump. No. <clears throat> uh oh, he got oh, caught. Wait. Because I was thinking, I'm like, man, this guy can't be this stupid. Uh oh. Oh no, no, oh. no, 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 no. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Huh? Wait, what? What? Why are you smiling? Ah, <laughs> oh, that sword! That's right! Oh. Remember, she has a sword! Yeah! Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> Dang! Oh. Wait, Kun can hold on to the sword, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because he's cheering for the other team. Yeah. Uh oh, another oh. one. I want to see this. What is, what is he? He's doing a little bit. He's going to get serious now. Oh, sleeping bag. It's sleeping bag, right? Oh, wait. What, he's what, there already. What? Oh, oh no! Dang, I thought they had it! Oh yeah, the moment he... <laughs> I can't get... Gumby's grandpa. But um, the moment they take the badges over. Yeah. Who's talking? Oh, Kun. So they even thought it was a good idea. They don't blame him. <laughs> you can't even beat a blanket. <laughs> oh. Yeah, blanket man. I thought I knew his voice, but why did he help him? Oh. Huh? Wait. He has a plan on top of a plan. So he planned this. Oh. <gasps> oh, 14 Li. Wow. Yeah, but what about... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. His pride. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh. 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 Wow, so head on came to her. Mm. Yeah, he got his bigger motives for yeah. why he wants to climb it. <laughs> I just realized they were bowing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, he beat them. That's <laughs> it? <laughs> what? <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. She just kicked the guy. So in Dorsey, it looks like she just betrayed her team. Okay, so she's not doing something like Kun did. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. It's different because yeah. her team members are on her team, but yet she's going against her team. That's weird. Why yeah. would she do that? Um, I, I don't know. I'm confused just as much as you are because I feel like she would want to win, but she doesn't care because she's strong. Right. So she could pass this test no matter what. I think she's after Anak. No, I don't think it has to Anak or remember Rahel is in her team. 
Yeah. She doesn't want La Hair to pass, probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wonder what Bam's answer was to her question this episode. Yeah, something about those three that just re- her. I think her purpose for this has to do with Rahel and Bam. Yeah, that's I think probably that it. that could be it. Okay, that's probably it. Okay, did Anak actually? No, Anak didn't know about the Kun's plan. That's no. right, she didn't know because she was surprised that the ranker took it, and she was like, "Holy cow, what the hell happened?" Right? Yeah. So Kun's. So this was his own his own self plan. Yes. But the question is, with the sleeping bag. Uh, all his friends are on the other team too. That's true. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. His friends are on the other side too. So he, yeah, he doesn't care. That's right. So Kun and Sleeping Bag, they both decided this together. They both decided this together. And they're the only ones to know. Okay, okay. That's why he left Sleeping Bag downstairs at the beginning. Oh my God! So he this pre- was. Yeah, it was premeditated. This was pre-planned from the way beginning. Yes. So he, it's like it's almost as if like Kun knew what the ranker was gonna do five steps ahead. Yeah. Oh, wow. Kun. Damn. Okay, cool. Uh, but also, one thing I was curious about it was that Kun used Anak's sword, right? Mm-hmm. I thought that only the Chosen One are uh, are able to use the power of the sword. Um. Because, I mean, if Kun held Anak's sword, mm-hmm. it wouldn't have extended. Because, remember, when Andorsi holds the Black Merch, she can't use... Oh, Anak, Anak holds the Black Merch, she can't use it. She can hold the sword. But she can't use it. I think each sword has their own uh, stipulation. Because the Black March is picky. Okay, but it's just the green one's not picky. Uh, I guess not. Okay, okay. I just thought that was interesting that um, he was able to use the abil- the sword's ability because Anak was nowhere near it. I think maybe it's because she had already made it do what it needed to do and then he just held on okay okay or, maybe i'm just thinking too much on yeah that one. also with the uh ranker mm-hmm. <clears throat> he's so funny it's like he he's such a childish character yeah all right he's very simple-minded but also at the same time it's he's so cute because he he would drop his pride just because he doesn't want to lose <laughs> that's it <laughs> He just, yeah. cause you can see how angry he is because he's like he has to use their shinzu too. Yeah. So it's just like I I just thought that scene was so funny and cute of the ranker because he's just he just he doesn't want to lose. No, he's so mad. He's like oh, these regulars. So I think that's the thing that Kun used against him was that he just knew like okay this guy's a really simple minded guy who just doesn't want to lose. Mm-hmm. So all I have to do is just make sure he doesn't lose, but then kind of control it in his own way. Yes. Yeah. Saying like, I could have beat you, but I'm going to let you win because I have a bigger priority. So he was showing them that he could have won this, Mm -hmm. but he decided not to because he cares more about his friends. Right, right. That's pretty cool to see Kun actually think that far ahead. Yeah. If they fail this, what happens? They have to start all over? Um... Yeah, I think so. They have to start over. Oh, really? Yeah, I oh, think so shoot. because they fail the test. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> they don't get to move on. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah, going back to what you said about Endorsey, it, I don't know why, but it seems like she's got some beef. She's really beefing even more in this episode about Rahel. It looks like everyone has got their own little problems. I mean, even yeah. look at Ho, like um, Ho and the other girl. I mean, the other girl was explaining about like. You know, do you do you really want to time the clock tower that bad, even if it means stepping over your friends or things like that, right? Yeah. Because she's starting to find it harder uh, as as they go because she's creating a bond with them. Yes. But obviously, we know what Ho's main goal is, and he's not wrong technically Mm-mm. because he entered this tournament or this tower, trying to save his own race yes. from going extinct. Yes. Is that what it is? Extinction, almost as if. Yeah, either extinction or. <laughs> He's trying to bring back his race. I don't know what he's trying to do or retaliation. I have a bad feeling about him. Yeah. And the reason why I have a bad feeling about this guy is because his ambition is too strong. And usually when someone's like ambition is too strong Mm -hmm. um, and they start ignoring everything around them, their path will start becoming more evil and evil as as they go. Yeah, they'll do whatever it takes to get them there. Yeah. They don't care about others. They just care about themselves and their goal. Yeah, because if if you reach a certain point, you're just like, I've came this far. I can't go backwards. Yeah. You know? So it's like, I have to keep going. And then one blood can lead to the next blood. And it's not going to count like anything. And Yeah, he starts to lose his values as a person. Yeah, so I don't really have a good feeling about him. I mean, like, do I understand his pain? Yes. Yeah. Do I understand his ambition for this? Yes. Mm-hmm. Do I understand that he's going to become 
uh, go to the dark side or kind of pave in that way. Sort of, in a way, in a sense, yes. Because I, I feel like he doesn't have that really true friend support Yes. Uh, that will attach to him. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas in his case, it's more of just like, um, he's more solo. It's just like, I, I got to get stronger than him. It's not about yeah. like, you know. Oh, wait, he did ask him to teach him. Yeah, he did. Well, uh, he got mad because the other guy was helping another teammate. Fine. So Yeah. So he's mad because he doesn't have, he doesn't have friends. He, he doesn't, doesn't have yeah, friends. He doesn't yeah. have a bond with anybody. Exactly. So that's why he's more narrow-minded. Exactly. And that's why I feel like I don't have a good feeling about him. Um, but I do understand mm -hmm. his character, why his character is going towards that path. Yeah. And um, he, he's, he's missing that really key ingredient is that he needs a good friendship, friend support system, you know? Yeah. Will that be Bam? Will that be Bam? To Ho? Um, I don't think you so. You don't think so? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, I don't think Bam will have to do anything with it. If anything, the only thing connection with Bam and his feelings is that he's very envious of Bam. Like, mm -hmm. he's just like, who the hell is this guy who just came out of nowhere? And he's just like super talented, you know? Mm -hmm. I kind of think it's very ironic that they make him, he's turning into this bad character. Even though like his intention is good, mm -hmm. he's just becoming a the evil Right, character, right. And he's like a little devil. Oh, he's like a half devil? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shoot. He looks like a half devil. Oh, man. Come on, man. It's, his race is going extinct. But then yeah. every every evil people or every villain has their own uh, motives mm -hmm. or certain way why they go into that kind of path. Yep. And when you actually look in, in the past of all the villains and evil people, mm -hmm. it's like, or on the characters, you, you see like it all started off with something good. Yes. Yeah. So I think this is what we're going to be seeing. But, you know, I'm not really too invested in his character. To, yeah. to, to be honest, I'm not really too invested in him. I'm actually more invested into um, uh, in Dorsey. Yes. Uh, what, his, what her issue is with this whole Bam and Michelle. That, I mean, like, the look that she gave Bam, you know, like about... What I have? Yeah, she was. She's just like, why do you gotta? Why do you care about her? That girl don't care about you. I think that's what that look was like. Stop caring about this girl uh -huh. because she doesn't even care about you. Ah, uh, okay, I see. I think that's what it was. Ah, uh, okay. Now that I think about it more. Okay, okay. Well, we'll find out in the next episode. But, mm -hmm. So Kun, uh, being so selfless in, in this time, like it, it, it's really nice to see it because you know in his past. Climbing the tower. His story was that he was trying to help. Um, help his lover, sister. Sister, right? It wasn't yeah. his lover. Everyone just put them as lovers. But then it wasn't really lover. Oh. Yeah. But anyways, like he was trying to help help that person. But it backfired on him, right? Mm -hmm. But then this is his second time. And you would think someone like him who got screwed over would not do that. But he's still in that time where it's like he's sacrificing himself for like bam and you know his friends yeah like not only bam but you know it showed the list of like his true friends like that's that's pretty that's pretty sweet man it is it's very sweet and i think it's just because he's found such a genuine person like bam mm. and because of how strong and how smart he is mm -hmm. he knows that he could pass this again yeah yeah oh yeah mm -hmm. yes all right guys that was uh tower of god episode number eight kun strategy yes. uh we will see you guys soon for episode number nine thank you guys so much also, guys, we do have a full-length reaction, timer-based reaction on our Patreon if you guys want to support us. Mm -hmm. uh, down at the link below, we'll put the link. So, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you soon. Yes, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.